Hey guys, Andre Freeman here. So I want to show you guys how you can use Desmos to solve problems involving binomial distributions. This particular problem can be modeled using a binomial distribution because it represents a binomial experiment. It says that um, a March 2020 Pew, Re Pew Research Center poll reported that 70% of U.S. adults believe that the coronavirus is a major threat to the U.S. economy. This actually comes from this Pew Research uh, study poll um, that you can find on the Pew, Pew Research Center's page that details the results of the study. So I would encourage you to check this out. Um, Pew Research Center is a great source for data and for um, statistics. So 70% of adults believe that the coronavirus is a major threat to the U.S. economy. The poll was conducted March 10th to, through March 16th. So the question says, suppose at this time, eight U.S. adults were randomly selected during this time period. We wanna find the probability for part A that exactly six of the eight adults believe that the coronavirus is a major threat to the U.S. economy. This is a binomial experiment because we have a fixed number of trials. Um, each adult selected is a trial. The probability that the adult says yes, they believe it's, the virus is a major threat is 70%. Therefore, the probability that a, an adult would say no, they don't think it's a major threat would be 30%. And we can determine the probability corresponding to the values of X, the random variable, the count going from zero through eight. So let's look at this in detail. Um, the, the key things to use for Desmos is the number of trials, in this case eight, and the probability of a success on each trial, which is um, 70%. Basically, there's a 70% chance that any of the adults selected say yes, they believe the coronavirus is a major threat to the US economy. In Desmos, we can work with this. What we'll do is, the first thing that we'll do in Desmos, as I typically like to do, I'm going to put, turn the projector on and get rid of the grid. And let's now also do the command binome, binomial dist. And now we're gonna set the number of trials, which is eight. Remember, eight adults were selected. And the probability each of the adults says that they believe their coronavirus is a major threat to the US economy was 70%. So now I do 0 0.70. I'm now going to click on the zoom fit, which will create a nice, um, really it's gonna be almost like a histogram of these probabilities. And then I'm gonna click find the cumulative probability to really show the binomial distribution. Let's talk about this for a second. Um, by clicking on each of these points, we can actually see the probability associated with each of the outcomes. So uh, let me just skip ahead to some of these larger probabilities. So these values essentially are providing us the binomial distribution. Let's just interpret these real quickly. So if eight adults are selected, there is a 20, roughly 25% chance that five of the eight adults say yes they think the virus is a major threat to the economy. Um, there is a roughly 30% chance that six out of the eight adults say yes, they believe that uh, the coronavirus is a major threat. Um, there's a roughly 20% chance that seven of the eight adults say yes, and there is a roughly 6% chance that all eight of the eight adults um, say yes, they believe that the virus is a major threat to the US economy. So what we're doing by, by clicking on each of these individual points is actually constructing the table with contains the probability distribution. And let me show that to you in the table form. So I'm gonna add a table here, and so I'm gonna do zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now again, let's use the actual points here to get these values. So bear with me as I go back and forth. So 0 0.0576, 0 0.1977, 0 0.0576, 0 0.1977. Let's turn this off, we don't want to pop points here. 
uh, 0 0.2965, 0 0.2541. Whenever you select away from it, the points go away, unfortunately. Um, but you can do like a screen, uh, a screen uh, capture if you want to see them and not lose this the image. 0 0.1361.0467. And we have three more. 0 0.01 for the probability corresponding to two. 0 0.012, 0, 0, 0, 0, corresponding to, to 1 and 0 0.0001. 0, 0, so this is showing us the, again, we got the probabilities by clicking on these points. And I hope I didn't make any mistakes. So what we're really doing, guys, is we're showing the discrete probability distribution here on the left. This is a binomial distribution. There are other ways that we can compute these probabilities. Um, let's go back to the problem for a second. It said, what is the probability that exactly six of the eight adults believe the coronavirus is a major threat to the U.S. economy? Again, the number of trials is eight. The probability of a success on each trial is 70%. A success is basically an adult saying, yes, they believe that the virus is a major threat. Well, the answer to part A is going to be 0.2965, or roughly 30%. There's a 30% chance that six of the eight adults say yes. They think this is a major, the virus is a major threat to the economy. And then part B says, okay, what's the, what is the probability that more than five of the eight adults believe that their coronavirus is a major threat? So the outcomes that correspond to more than five would be the outcome six, seven, eight. Those are the values of the binomial random variable that correspond to more than five. Let's add a note to write this in. So the probability that we have more than five successes, this is gonna be the probability of six successes plus the probability of seven successes plus the probability of eight successes. And we can then add up these three probabilities, 0.2965 plus 0.2541 plus 0 0.576. Um, and that's gonna give us our result. We can do this directly in using Desmos because if we click on this, what well, we already did, we already clicked on the find cumulative, pro find cumulative probability function. I'm gonna set my min to six and my max to eight. And you can see here, that's basically instructing Desmos to add the probabilities corresponding to the outcome six seven and eight and when they when you add up these three probabilities for for the probabilities for the outcome six seven and eight we end up getting 0 0.552 so this is this is the actually let me fix it this would be 0 0.0576 no wonder it didn't look right so 0 0.9 2965 0 0.1977 plus and this is a mistake here as well plus 0 0.0576, we get a sum of the three probabilities of 0 0.552. So this is a nice example, I think, that shows you the capability of, of the binomial dist command in Desmos. You can use this to find individual probabilities as well as to find the sum of probabilities for specific outcomes. All right, I hope, this, I hope you find this helpful.